<laughs> Things are getting heating up. Things are getting heating up. Things are heating up. Did I just move my recording? No, I didn't. I thought I moved my recording window. Don't crash on me or anything. I'm going to save just in case. When that cutscene started, I decided to switch to balance so it didn't stutter anything. For your all benefit, while sacrificing my laptop. Look down. Down. Continue down. Down to leave. Ah, oh, let me go left. There's a hint coin over there, a giant hint coin. Oh, hello, talking to this guy again. Oh, I can see the Ferris wheel in the background there. Oh, this time I've really had it. I thought of this great puzzle, but I couldn't find anyone to tell it to. Oh, well, it's turning to us now. 30 out of 30. Difficult, but not that difficult. You decide to rent some space in a flower garden. You inform the owner of the garden that you need enough space for 12 plants. He tells you that there are four <coughs> suitable allotments available here today. Uh, uh, burping, can't breathe. The rent for each allotment is calculated by area, but on top of the rent for 12 plant size spaces, there is also a separate charge for the fence around the whole allotment. With this in mind, can you tell which allotment has the most expensive rent? The most expensive, not the cheapest, but the most expensive. Cheap ones. The rent for each allotment is calculated by area. But on top of the rent, for the 12 plant size spaces, there is also a separate charge for the fence around the whole allotment. With this in mind, can you tell which allotment has the most expensive rent? So it's the one with the most fences. Probably. C and B look like pretty good candidates. But as well as that, so does D because that's long. And long. Anyway, let's try and count. One, I'm counting B right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. B has twenty. One, two, I can't see now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. C has nineteen? Well, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, nine, I think it's D. You can find the answer by adding up the length of the fence all around the allotments, but there is another way. At first glance, does an A look like it has the shortest length of fence? Yes, it does. Each individual square has four sides, so an allotment of twelve squares will have forty-eight sides in total, with each square shared, each shared, <coughs> with some shared between squares. The number of sides being shared by neighboring squares will differ greatly depending on the shape of the allotment. Okay, so yeah, A has 14, B has 20, I miscounted C, that has 18, not 19. But, it's D. 26. Do it. Holy crap! No, not my headphones off my head. Is the key, to success. key to success. Why am I doing that already? That's right, D is the most expensive. When considering how many sides of each plant size square need to be fenced, you don't even need to count the length of fence in order to see that D will cost the most. By the way, if you do add up all the lengths, probably all the you'll find that A requires 14 sides of fence, B 20, C 18, and D 26. So you should, of course, choose allotment A if you want to save money, like so. If you don't mind splashing out, go D. Probably easier to walk around and stuff. Oh, come on. It was all. I was all ready to tell you the answer and everything. But no, you had to go and ruin it for answering it before I said it was okay, didn't you? Didn't you? Have you ever considered the strong possibility that you might be a real pain in the neck? We're badass people, dude. We are badass puzzle solvers. You can't, you can't cage us. You can't put us in cages. You can't put us in boxes, metaphorically or physically. Tee hee hee. Who are you looking for this time? Which is holding? Who are you holding this time? Want to rest for a minute and solve this puzzle? Fair enough. 
Twenty out twenty. Ah, oh, that should be piss easy. Two companies have put out help wanted ads. Aside from the information below, the two companies' offers are exactly the same. From a purely financial standpoint, which one should you work for? Company A will pay you £100,000 a year and give you a £20,000 raise yearly. Company B will pay you £50,000 every six months and give you a £5,000 raise every six months. A what? Well, the companies are exactly the same. From a purely financial standpoint, which one should you work for? Company A will pay you a hundred thousand pounds a year, and will give you a twenty thousand pound raise yearly. So, first year you'll have one thousand one hundred thousand pounds. After that, one hundred twenty thousand pounds. After that, one hundred forty thousand pounds. Yeah, one hundred thirty-five. Yeah, same on. Same on. Carry on. Same thing all day. Company B will give you £50,000 every six months. So in a year that would obviously total up to 100000 So essentially they're still giving you £100,000 a year. And will give you £5,000 raise every six months. So that's £10,000 a year. So... First year will be a hundred thousand. The next year will be a hundred and ten thousand, a hundred and twenty thousand, a hundred and thirty thousand, a hundred and forty thousand. Some of the hints. It's gotta be a trick in here. Twick twick. Trick in here somewhere. If you take the time to add things, this puzzle can be solved in a minute. Go on and try and add up how much money you've received from both companies each year for a few years. Company A, you can just look at your yearly salary to get your total income for the year. Company B will give you a raise halfway through the year, so you'll need to calculate two six month periods to get your yearly pay. Which one offers more money? Hmm, let's add up how much you'd make in your first year at either company. Company A gives you £100,000 for your first year of work. Company B gives you £50,000 for your first half year, then gives you a raise. This means that for the next six month period, you will make Fifty thousand pounds. Add those together, and you have your yearly pay for you. Really? Okay, I got. I've got to figure this one out. Boggling my head a bit here. Why are you scrolling up? Don't sc auto scroll, you stupid thing. Company B gives you fifty thousand pounds for your first half year. Oh, eh? Huh? And then gives you a raise. This means that for the next six month period, you will make fifty. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I see. I get it now. Company A. End of the year, you will have a hundred thousand pounds in your pocket. Company B. For the first year, you will have £105,000 in your pocket. That's because, for ha the first half of the year, you get £50,000. Then for the end of the year, you will get another £50,000 plus a £5,000 raise. So then you will have £105,000. So, the company we should work for is B, apparently. Going by that logic. Luke, Critical thinking is the key to success. success. Nice one. Seeing the image above, or to my right, if you actually work things out, you'll see that the salary for the company B will always be £5,000 higher than the corresponding salary at company A. I should buy here the first year. From A, you will get £105,000. Uh, company A will get £100,000, B, £105,000. Year 2, company A, £120,000. B, £125,000. Year 3, company A, £140,000. Company B, £145,000. Oh, you did it. Okay, I guess I should give you some info as a reward. You know Lady Dahlia, right? She's planning to keep the fortune to herself. Surround, <laughs> pardon me. 
and you've been helping her all along. Don't you feel so silly? <laughs> a house plant. Who the heck does this yeah, goes to later? I wonder when chapter 7 is going to start. So let's go into the inn. Yes, yes, I see improvement here, and he's still saying not bad. Come on, man, your room's full of stuff. You should be bloody happy. So save. Okay. Close. And I will see you all next time.